It's book haul day, so go put Grandmama to bed, make yourself a bologna sandwich, and come on down and let's talk about what we got to talk about. Ooh, yeah. Hello, everybody. I got quite a few books I want to talk about today, books that I've bought, but I haven't uh, done unboxing videos or anything like that. A lot of these books come from a lot of places like the normal Amazon, eBay, but sometimes you got to go to the bookstores, got to wander around and we'll spend some time. Sometimes you got to go to the thrift stores, the Goodwill, and don't sleep on the antique shops because I found some cool stuff at some antique stores. And the first one I'm going to talk about came directly from Wildwood Antique Mall of Wildwood. Go figure. And this one had some some neat stuff, and I almost bought one, but I ended up getting this, a first edition, first print copy of Stephen King's It. You probably have heard of it, I would guess. Anyway, um, for years and years, I was not really chasing Stephen King's stuff because I knew what my budgets were, and Stephen King's stuff really wasn't in it. So I kind of focused on things, authors that I liked that I knew I could afford, and get really cool things of, but <clears throat> from time to time, I've stumbled across some neat stuff, and when I saw this at the antique store for the price they were asking, I couldn't pass it up. Now, uh, so anyway, it's it. Glad to have it in the collection for show. Next in the book haul was uh, a Walmart pickup. Woo! Anyway, Levidian Publications put up for pre-order Slip cases for a Stephen King book called Fairy Tale. Ever hear of it? And I ordered it, but I didn't have any copies of the book, and I wasn't really interested. And by that time, the I think it was Simon and Schuster. They did a limited edition. Those were sold out at the publisher, and it was amazing. At the secondary market prices were going up higher and higher and higher, and I didn't want to pay two hundred bucks or one hundred eighty bucks for that book. So at Walmart, I was walking down an aisle, and I noticed that the first print, first edition copies printed in the U.S. of Fairy Tale were plentiful on the shelf. And it was listed on the shelf, I think, $21. And I said, oh, what the heck? I got a slipcase coming. I might as well get a book coming. And uh, so I bought it. And then when I went to the register and it rang up for $14, 91 cents so fairy tale first edition first prints the u.s copy at walmart 14 dollars 91 cents not bad uh anyway worked out for me what's next on the list how about amazon and how about philip fracassi speaking of greatness one of my new favorite authors i recently um back in may april may i ordered a signed copy of this book from a uh, a dealer we'll just leave it at that and the book still hasn't come in people weeks ago were getting this book in the mail mine still hasn't come in months ago i don't know it's been a while now and uh, philip fricasi hooked me up with a, a signed edition and i started reading it a couple days ago the one he gave me not this one and i've spent an hour or so reading that book it had a nice signature a nice inscription and I'm thinking, man, I don't want to be reading this book that Philip Fricassi sent me. So I went on Amazon and I ordered another one. So that's three. Three for me. So this one came in the mail <clears throat> uh, today. I'm around 150 pages in to A Child Alone with Strangers by Philip Fricassi. And I love this book. Uh, you can get it at all sorts of places. Amazon sells them. VJ Books sells signed copies. All the, the usual suspects, you can get one. Strongly recommend. It's uh, right around 600 pages, I think. I'm about 150 in, and I really like this book. I'm about that far in, whatever that is. Really like this book. Really like Philip Fricasse. Strongly recommend. Now, the next, next up on the list are some eBay purchases. Right now, it is... Somewhere around the beginning of December, the end of November, November 29th, as we speak, actually. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. But I love Christmas. I'm an addict of Christmas. I start getting excited about Christmas somewhere in August. And I really, really, really start getting antsy 
around Halloween and then Thanksgiving just blows my mind. Anyway, one of the books that I've learned to really love as an adult related to Christmas is right here, A Christmas Carol. And I've got several different versions of this little book, varieties of, of publishers and such. But this was a relatively cheap facsimile uh, that was available on eBay. And uh, it's got gold gilt page edges. This is a, a paper cover, it's not leather. I've got a couple that are leather. One's green and one's red. But uh, it's a neat little edition. I think it was 20 bucks-ish colored in papers and it's got a lot of the original artwork in it and uh well worth the price of what i paid for it i i was pleased to see this little book come out let me pull up a few pictures just from it i love a christmas carol by charles dickens i love many many of the movies and i love the book even more how's that sound even better if that's possible than any of the movie renditions including the disney and all the others Alistair Sim, 1951, better than all of them, but chock full of the original illustrations from the book. A uh, pretty neat little addition to my Christmas Carol collection. Uh, next up, Levidian Publications. I mentioned them already. Recently put up for pre-sale and sold it out right away. The Store by Bentley Little, and this is not The Store, but it is Bentley Little. Looking up the author I'd never read before, and I figured, hey, let's let's pay a little bit of attention. One of my very favorite, one of my other very favorite publishers, SST, SST Publications, um, did this, The Handyman by Bentley Little. So I found one on the secondary market, at a very reasonable price, and uh, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, I got one in the mail, signed, limited edition from SST chuck full of illustrations let's see if i can just show you a few show you a few of these pictures in here illustrations from sst who's the uh who's the illustrator for this one hang on a second and it is illustrated by ben baldwin somebody who's done quite a few or at least some books from sst publications and done a great job i love the artwork that Ben Baldwin has produced in books that I've seen. I'm not going to show you all the illustrations. There's quite a few. Looks like uh, six or seven interior illustrations in this edition of The Handyman from SST. Don't forget those initials because they are good. All right, so I've been, uh, I've gotten back into reading Robert B. Parker's Spencer series and snooping around. I, I didn't have a lot of great books from that series there's the god wolf manuscript which i'd love to get a signed first print copy one of these days i'll probably pick one up but just snooping around i figured out that some publishers had done some limited edition versions of some of the some of the newer books in that series and putnam has right here slip cased cloth bound gold foil stamping on the spine uh facsimile signature on the cover Signed limited editions, you see here, gold gilt page edges all the way around. Nice cloth boards, um, signed and limited edition. This one is limited to 250 copies. This one is number 145, signed by Robert B. Parker, who is sadly, and can't see that, sadly no longer with us. And so I figured I'd start picking up some of these as i get around to it no illustrations or anything like that but it's uh it looks nice nice quality book and the uh the sewn it's hard to see with the picture sewn binding there so i was really pleased to, to to find that and to get on the bandwagon i'll probably pick up these as i get time or get the uh get the right book at the right price fill in some of those from my collection so another author that I have been reading and collecting for a while that I, I do love is a guy by the name of Richard Matheson. And this one is a Gauntlet Press Stir of Echoes by Richard Matheson. And I already had this book, signed and numbered, but mine didn't have a slipcase. See, uh, Gauntlet used to sell books and you could buy the slipcase extra. Anyway, the copy that I had from Gauntlet had no slipcase, and I found one that did, and I wanted a slipcase, a nice leather 
Uh, I don't know. Looks like leather. I don't know. It's probably not, but I can't say. Leather slip case, a nice slip case. And there it is, embossed on the cover. A stir of echoes and uh, foiled stamping on the spine. And this book here, the patterned in papers, this book includes not only the novel, but a screenplay written for a movie of Stir of Echoes by Richard Matheson. And there you see, signed and numbered, limited to 525 copies. And besides a, an image of Richard Matheson, did I say Robert? Richard Matheson. Um, besides an image of him, as well as the uh, screenplay material, there are no inter internal no illustrations in this book, but it is nice. It is a signed by Richard Matheson, built-in page ribbon marker. This one is sewn binding. It's from before Gauntlet Switch to a uh, glued only bindings. Um, so good quality book, very nice. Glad to have it in my collection as well. Uh, moving on, I got a few more I want to show you. December the 3rd, 2022, an author by the name of Robert R. McCammon is going to be doing a book signing at a bookstore that I intend to be at. I intend to be at that bookstore when he's doing that signing. And I had quite a few things I want to get signed. But this is one that I've been on. I didn't have this book at all. I didn't have this edition of this book. But I love the cover. I wanted a first print, first edition, decent condition copy of Usher's Passing so that I could take and get it signed by Mr. McCammon. And so I finally came up with the right book at the right price. It is a first print edition. You can see the, the complete number line there. And I bought that so I can get Mr. McCammon to sign that for me. Among other things, believe me, I'm going to be pushing the limits of how many books I can get signed. May never see this guy again, so what do you know? Anyway, <laughs> um, <clears throat> speaking of Robert R. McCammon, I had the first book in this series, and I, I think I showed it to you on a video here, but I didn't have the second book, so I was able to get the second book, and that is Last Train from Perdition by Robert McCammon. And it's uh, from Subterranean Press, smaller size book. You've got a cloth slipcase. And I wrapped it in bro darts, so it's still a little bit tight in the slip case. It hasn't formed up yet. But the uh, I Travel by Night, book two, and it is uh, it is nice. I wanted to, I got wanted to put this set together, colored in papers. Let's take the stuff jacket off real quick. Show you leather, leather bound foil stamp spine. <clears throat> And it is signed and limited to 474 copies, signed by the author, Robert McCammon. Works for me. I get to add that one to my collection, trying to get uh, all of the missing Robert McCammon signed editions of his books for the shelves. A couple more here. Joe R. Lansdale, A Fistful of Stories. This one is a collection of stories by Joe Lansdale from Cemetery Dance. It is slip cased. You can see that, well, I don't know, paper slip case cover there. Uh, nice slip case, but I think it's paper. And from Cemetery Dance, there is the excellent cover artwork. It is a collection of stories. It is limited to 500 numbered copies and signed by Joe R. Lansdale himself or his own self. A fistful of stories and articles. And I've got a bunch of collections from Joe Lansdale. Right, real quickly, if you want to flash frame and look at the table of contents, that is what's included. I'm not going to go down through the list, but uh, I try to get anything I can from Joe, especially his signed and limited stuff, because that tends to be what I love the most. And finally, I was able to work out a deal with somebody on the Facebook for a trade. And uh, the trade was a couple of Centipede Press signed edition books from James Herbert, the Jonah, and the Survivor. So let's take a look first at the Jonah, as usual, from Centipede Press. Beautiful dust jacket artwork. 
Nice, look at that. That's what you see on the shelf and in the back. Just beautiful. Let's take this dust jacket off and show you some more of the cool things that are included with the Centipede Press book. You gotta get the light just right, but on this black cloth cover board, you can see more artwork. It just looks so cool. The foil stamp spine, and then on the back it is plain. But these are, uh, these are the signed editions, but that doesn't always mean signed by the author. James Herbert is no longer with us, so unavailable to sign these books. So many times in those cases, Centipede Press will include a facsimile signature, which I'm trying to find, as well as signatures from the artists or people that also contributed to the story. And we'll see another familiar name right there, Ben Baldwin. So this, this book is limited to 300 copies. Uh, facsimile signature by James Herbert, signed by artist Ben Baldwin, as well as Roger Gerberding. And it's got some amazing artwork in it. And I'll show you just a little bit because we don't have all day. We've already, already been here a while. I'll just show you some of this Ben Baldwin artwork. The top edge is sprayed and it just looks so nice. Let's find one more picture. You're here already. Find one more picture, take a look. Look at there, that full spread artwork, but looks so nice. And then the last one that I wanna show you here in this assortment is James Herbert, The Survivor. And again, look at the dust jacket artwork. This one's much different art style, much simpler design. Let's get this dust jacket off and show you what's hidden underneath. Again, the black cloth boards and the foil stamp and paint artwork on the cover foil stamp spine and there's some hidden stuff in there and then the black is plain the back is black and back is black and plain uh let's look at the limitation page this one is again facsimile signature by james herbert kieran badges roger gerbening don punchets that's also a facsimile signature and one of the things i'll show you with this one that is uh, common to these centipede press books is they put in the old soft cover artwork in there that i always I always love to see but let me see if i can find another illustration for this one here just great stuff i love centipede press i love a lot of their books i try to get them all that i can these days but you can't get them all anyway that's, uh, that's my book haul for November of 2022. I do appreciate the time. Thank you for watching. All the lives I can think of. C'est la vie, baby. Did it.